All right, let me teach you about permutation prompts. So this is something you can do in Midjourney, uh, which is really cool. And you know there is a equivalent of something you can do in Stable Diffusion as well. You'd have to kind of code it yourself. Uh, but just so you understand, uh, let's give this a go in Midjourney uh, because they have this kind of built in. So what I'm pasting in here is the prompt. So uh, if you if you can't see here, let me let me zoom in. Uh, stock photo, oil painting, and illustration. And these are all in these curly brackets. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna generate multiple prompts. So it's gonna generate one with stock photo, one with oil painting, and then one with illustration. Um, and then the rest of the prompts kind of keep going. So uh, it's gonna have a stock photo of a business meeting, an oil painting of a business meeting, and illustration of a business meeting. Um, and then I have another permutation here, which is for an eight people. Uh, so I'm going to get to see basically a full grid of um, you know, what these look like, right? What uh, what is it? Yeah, how how interesting is it um, if it's an oil painting versus an illustration versus a stock photo, and uh, does it look better with it with uh, four or eight people? So I I hit enter, and uh, it recognizes I'm doing permutations. It says, "Are you sure you want to make uh, six prompts for this template?" So the uh, reason it's six is there's three permutations in here and two permutations in here, three times two is six. Uh, you can actually see the prompts. Uh, so it shows you what it's generated here. Then you can click yes or no, and you can edit the template. So let me just click yes. And here we go, boom, boom, boom. It's firing out six jobs. So obviously be careful here, you know, if you have you know, a bunch of these things, uh, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna eat up all of your resources, right? Like you have, um, you know, I guess a limited number of images you can generate. So uh, just be careful. Uh, but uh, yeah, like this is, uh, this is fine, you know, we're only generating six permutations. So uh, these are all generating at the same time, which is helpful. And uh, you can see um, that it's processing them all and then they're all gonna come through hopefully soon. So you can see here's one stock photo of a business meeting of four people. And then uh, this is the same thing, stock photo of a business meeting with eight people. Um, and then you have uh, oil painting of a business meeting with four people. And then you know, oil painting of a business meeting with eight people. So it's gonna kind of keep going. And uh, we'll just see what it comes back with. Here we go, so it's done, the th it's done three of them, it's generating three more. Uh, so let's see what it has so far. Yeah, it's generating a few more, waiting to start. Cool, so here's what we have so far. Um, we have, okay, we have eight people in a stock photo. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and that gives us a certain sort of vibe. And then this is four people, but with an oil painting. I really like this. I think this is beautiful, you know. <laughs> uh, this is really cool. And you can upscale. Uh, whatever it is you want. Um, this one's still generating. What else do we have? Do we have any others that are finished? Oh, here we go. We have four people uh, on, uh, you know, in a business meeting in a stock photo. So you can start to compare this. Uh, one thing you can do is actually can kind of like uh, you know, upscale them, download the images, and then um, show them all in a grid. I think that that's quite a helpful way to see it. Uh, like if you're making a presentation for a client or for your boss, uh, or you just want to see it visually yourself. Mm -hmm. Cool. So we have a few more that finished. So we have four people in a stock photo. We have eight people in a stock photo. And then we have oil painting of four people. That's my favorite so far. Oil painting of eight people. So you see it's really different. Uh, showing eight people is... Uh, I think worse than four people in this case. Um, and then uh, here's the illustration. So illustration of eight people versus illustration of four people. So very consistent. And um, the really, you know, the really useful um, you know, reason you would do this, uh, or the, the reason this is really useful, I think, is just that um, you can see a lot of these things side by side. So you can basically spam out a bunch of different uh, parameters that you um, we're thinking about and then just see how that affects the prompts it gives you a much better idea of you know what it is about the prompt that's making uh, the, the the style uh, you know making the image look good um, and and you can you know map out a bigger universe of uh, of what it is you want to explore so uh, really really helpful um, I you know highly recommend messing around with this 
uh, permutations is is the name of this feature.